Hi everyone, Kerry here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So it's been a week since the last time I uploaded a video and I'm really sorry about it. But if you've been like joining me in my videos lately, you know that I haven't had enough time lately to build or play or do anything in general because I'm studying and everything. Yeah, I don't want to like talk about that all, all that much. But the thing is, I'm officially on my vacations so i wanted to have a voiceover for you guys before i went uh, like to the south because i'm going to the south and i'm gonna be at the beach and i'm gonna have like a nice time and i mentioned it before as well that i am uh, bringing my laptop with me so i am actually gonna have the chance to build maybe do some videos and and i'm also bringing my mic so i'm gonna have uh, the chance to do voiceovers and stuff like that so there's not gonna be any like uh, pre-recorded content because i just haven't had time to do anything so i wanted to build something for my save file and this is actually one of the builds that i like kept like in pause for a long time i think i started building this like at the beginning of last year or something like that and i never finished it because i wasn't sure how i wanted the floor plan to work and for some reason i'm starting to think that maybe the first world that i'm gonna like show properly from my safe file is gonna be oasis springs I just have the most <laughs> builds from Oasis Springs that are going to be part of the save file and I just wanted to like focus on that so maybe you will see a lot of builds from this world but I just I don't know I wanted to approach this house again and try to do something interesting with this house and I actually ended up really liking it I think that the main idea that I had actually was an inspiration that I saw on Pinterest but I don't remember like how the picture looked if it was remotely similar to the end result that you see here or anything like that because as I said I started building this like a year ago but I do remember that I took some inspiration and i really like how this house ends up looking so i really hope that you guys like it as well we're building in a 40 by 30 lot i'm pretty sure and i wanted to have like a really modern house in here but still with some pops of industrial in the exterior so you can see there's a lot of concrete going on i don't know how realistic that would be for a house in the desert but i just wanted to go with the aesthetic and i really really liked it so there's um a lot of concrete and bricks and things like that and you can see that we are going to get into the interior of this build and in the interior is really white really um like clean and modern and i wanted to embrace a lot of black and white in here but not making it like monochromatic because i don't know i wouldn't add that much black to a desert home because black attracts the sunlight and I don't think that's something that you want when you live in the desert. So I decided to go with a little bit of blue, maybe some teal, not so like not so bright colors. And I wanted the, this house to feel like it was like a huge house, like a mansion or, or something similar to that. It's by no means a mansion, but I wanted it to feel like it could be something like that. So we're starting with the kitchen because I like kitchens so much. And uh, it's really big, as you can see. I don't usually have this kind of bigger um, kitchens. But every time that I have the chance to do a house like this, like really big, I always try to have a massive kitchen because I love kitchens. In real life, I wish I had a kitchen that was like a quarter the size of this one. <laughs> My kitchen is really small. And um, of course I added a lot of um, counters and cabinets and this bigger, big island. And there are, I use the modular pieces as well from um, Dream Home Decorator just to have more storage. So I put everything in there that I could find. I'm gonna be cutting those parts out of the video so you won't see me selecting every item and putting them in the specific place and stuff like that because it was already a pretty long build and i didn't want it to feel like it was like a 30 minute video sped up and everything and cutting everything that was irrelevant and stuff so all those things like me putting things on shelves and stuff like that you won't see it on the video you will just see the end result uh i hope you don't mind also um 
As I'm going back to building, I do have to warn you guys that maybe I'm gonna go through this kind of break or something. I wouldn't call it a break. I think a break is something that you take mostly voluntarily and that you do wanna um, take. I don't. <laughs> By no means I want to stop building or anything like that. But maybe during April I'm not gonna have much time again because of work. But I'm doing my best just to um, be like continuously uploading videos and having a lot of content because the channel has grown so much and I'm really excited for what's coming next. And I really want us to grow as a community and I just think I owe you guys a lot of content and builds and things like that because you guys have been amazing and you've decided to join me and you've decided that you liked my content so I really really want to have like as much content as I can for you but if for some reason uh, it doesn't happen it's because I, there are situations that go like out of my control and that's something that I cannot work on but um yeah it's not gonna happen until April maybe May but um I just wanted to warn you guys in case uh, it just happens and I forget to say it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. But anyways, I just wanted to mention it right now because I know that I will not have that much time during April. And uh, yeah, we're adding a lot of decorations in the kitchen. I really like the pendant light that I used. That one is from, I don't know, maybe maybe that light is from growing together but i could be mistaken i actually don't know uh, my problem with the bigger houses is that uh, sometimes i just don't know how to fill in the space i think that every time that i build a bigger house like this one i just don't work with the proper proportions for a build and i just i don't know i say okay i'm gonna be adding like this big table like a, a three tile table and then I go and my like my dining space is like 10 tiles longer <laughs> and I just don't know how to fit in everything and how to um, like cover every single wall. I think in this house I had that problem with the living space but it wasn't that much because I fixed it right away and you will see it when we get there. But I didn't mention this but this house has actually four bedrooms and four bathrooms so you're seeing this one in here that it's a half bathroom and then you will see the main bathroom from the main bedroom but you won't see any of the bathrooms like any of the other bathrooms because they're pretty much the same and um this house has a garage and it has like a laundry area and also one of the bedrooms could be for a butler or maybe a guest room they have their own suite bathroom so in that part like behind the couch that i'm at in right now uh there's the bedroom for like maybe guests or maybe a butler and there's a bathroom and you can see the garage as well but you won't see it on the video because i completely forgot to record those parts um i think i took pictures so you will see it on the screen screenshots but maybe you won't see the garage there's not that much going on in the garage anyways it's it's like a, just a regular garage I added some like skill building items just to make it functional and to have a purpose for that space because we don't have functioning cars so there's no need to have like a proper garage but I do really like to add them because I think it it brings up a little bit of realism to the build so um there's the space and in the exterior looks really nice so i decided to add um, a garage anyways but the two cars uh, are gonna be outside so maybe it, it's more of a skill room or something like that but yeah i added a fireplace as you can see and in the other side there's gonna be a fish tank i do this quite often in bigger spaces like this one because i don't know i would never have like um a fish tank like this i don't think like i don't really like fish as decoration or as pets <laughs> but um i think it makes sense for a house like this maybe when you have like a mac mansion or something like that you will have something that says okay i have money so what's better than that than having a fish tank and it also reminds me a lot of the fish tank from the sims 1 i really like that fish tank i remember i would try to buy it every time and to add it to my game and to have just the fish tank in there it did nothing i'm pretty sure but it was so cool to have a fish tank i don't know um 
it, every time that I add a fish tank, it's because it reminds me of The Sims 1. And it's really nice. And also, The Sims franchise turned 24 years old. And I can't believe it because I started playing The Sims in the year 2000. So I started playing The Sims when I was nine years old and it was um, like amazing. It was the best game that I could find. It was amazing. It did. It had everything that I've been looking for in a game. And I just felt so, so happy when I started playing this game and going back to the year 2000 and thinking that... Um, it's been like more than half of my life I've been playing this game is insane. So I don't know, I just I, I just wanted to mention it because I didn't mention it that much on social media or anything like that. I didn't have like a proper bill to celebrate the 24th birthday of The Sims, but I just really wanted to mention it in here because it's an important milestone, I think. I, I don't know if you can say that many games turn 24 <laughs> years or I don't know, they don't last that long. So having a franchise that's been here for that long, I think that's great and that we're just improving the games and the quality and everything uh, I know that it's a little bit controversial when you say like I'm not gonna say that The Sims 4 is the best one from the franchise because in my opinion The Sims 3 is definitely the, the best one like I don't know but people like The Sims 2 as well and The Sims 4 I like it for building I think the graphics are really great I really like that but uh, the gameplay and everything I like The Sims 3 and I didn't play that much of The Sims 2, so I cannot talk about that. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. Happy birthday to The Sims franchise, because 24, it's a long, long time. <laughs> and as I mentioned, I've been playing since day one, so that's amazing. And we're in the main bedroom right now. I added a sofa in here. Then I realized that I didn't have a computer for like the parents and uh, yeah, they do not have a proper computer. So maybe you would like to turn this area into an office, probably like that corner there with the couch. Maybe you would like to turn it into an office or maybe you will find a place to add a desk or something like that. Maybe the guest room slash butler's room could be an office as well. Uh, if you wanna just go and just change some of the floor plan you can easily do it but yeah the parents are not gonna have like a proper office area because i thought that maybe they just wouldn't need one i mean they could work outside in an office probably and they just don't need a computer at home but the kids do have one so there's two kids rooms in here and they do have like this laptop uh, tablet thingy that we got with the pastel pop kit. So you will see it when we get there. But right now the bathroom, this is the main bathroom. It's kind of big. It has a kind of funny shape. So I added the uh, shower in that nook that I had in there. And also there's a tub and there's a lot in here. I think I ended up adding a lot of things in here that I don't usually have the chance to add to a bathroom because I just like to make smaller bathrooms. I think the bigger, the biggest bathroom that I usually make is a three by three bathroom. And still, I don't think you can fit that much in a three by three bathroom, but this one, it's a little bit bigger. I think it's a four by three, yeah. So I really liked it. And because we were going with this color scheme of a lot of whites and blacks and like teal and stuff, I don't usually go with the same color scheme in the kids room. I think when you have a kid, you like them to decorate their bedrooms in any way that they want, just to feel like they can express themselves and they can try to understand a little bit of their likes and what things go with their styles and what things don't. So my kids rooms are usually really, really colorful and they have a lot going on. So if the house is a little bit more minimalistic, the bedrooms for the kids will be not so minimalistic. I don't think there, there's a kid that realistically likes to have like a minimalistic room. I think when you're nine or ten, you like to have a lot of things in your bedroom and you like to have toys and places to put more things and shelves and books and stuff like that. So that's what I go to every time that I create a kid's room. So you see that there's a lot of green going on in here, yellow as well blues and whites 
and I kept like the modern style but I just went crazy with the toys because that's something that kids do like to have a lot of toys and things to do and in the sims when you have a lot of activities for the kids they develop more skills and they can I don't know maybe you can work on their empathy or you can work on their conflict resolution skills and stuff like that so I do like to do that when I do gameplay so I really like to add those things in my kids rooms for the rest of you guys if you want to play with these rooms and you would like to play with my houses you can just download them and have the same chances that I have every time that I do gameplay so this is the other kids room I was thinking that maybe this kid was a little bit older than the other one but I thought that they would have like two kids so they will be children and um, this one I used this wallpaper from high school years, I'm pretty sure. I tried to find the right walls to add it because it cuts weird when you have like the end of the wall. It doesn't continue if you have another wall. So it's kind of weird and you can see there's a little bit of a clip or something in the corner there, but I just decided to um, like don't see that <laughs> ignore it completely and this kid also has a desk and they have this laptop as well like this tablet thing i thought that maybe this kid was more into toys and animals and stuff like that so they have a lot of animal toys going on i did the llama that we got with a base game update when we got the infant update i think i used it once maybe twice and then i completely forgot we had that llama so i decided to add it in here and there's a lot of orange and blue going on in here so i really liked it orange is definitely not one of my favorite colors but i do like how they how it looks like in a bedroom a kids room and i actually based most of the color scheme of that bedroom from the wallpaper and we're in the outside now and i really like the kind of patio situations that have multiple like levels so the, i played with the platforms a lot in this build and i really really liked it of course because it's a desert home i decided to add a big pool because i just i don't like the sun i don't like feeling like hot and like cold weather and stuff like that i hate it so much i actually had to turn off my fan right now to do the voiceover and i'm melting because it's almost 9 p.m and it's like i don't know 30 degrees outside but <laughs> uh, for the sake of the video i had to turn it off and um yeah i just think it it's nice when you have a big pool uh, in a climate that is always gonna be really hot or, or most of the time so I decided to add that and also a bigger kitchen here outside with a bar I don't usually add bars to my builds so having a lot of space it it helps me add items that I don't usually go for every time that I build so there is a living area in here as well like a sitting area for your sims to go and relax if they want to spend some time in here maybe you can host a party like a barbecue or something like that you can easily do that in here so there's a lot of space and also there's gonna be a space for uh, the kids to play a big table as well so you can host a party and um yeah i just really really like how this kind of um deck situation i don't know what's the name of this thing i know i know but i don't remember <laughs> and of course i added things for a dog in the kitchen so i'm gonna be adding another pet bed in here some toys as well so you can have a dog i don't think that this family would have a cat i think they're more like a dog people so that's why i decided to go for a dog but if you want to have a cat you just have to add like a a cat tree or a scratching post and then a litter box and that would be it but yeah i just really like this backyard i think it still feels like i don't know um not so um hot and deserty <laughs> even though it's in the desert but i think the plants that i added help it helped a lot i'm sorry about that um also i'm, I'm recording this voiceover like a few hours before i have to travel so i wanted to have it finished before i took the bus because it's gonna be like an eight hour bus trip right now 
and uh, I'm gonna be really tired tomorrow so I decided to do the voiceover today and uh, just see what happens in the la in the next couple of days uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be building as I mentioned because I I cannot live without this I mean I have to take my laptop everywhere that I go so don't worry because you will see content maybe not videos every day but you will see reels on Instagram and also videos on TikTok so uh, stay tuned for that and if you follow me on my social medias I I just want to say thank you and stay and we're gonna like stay tuned because I try to have content for my social media because it's easier to manage and to edit and stuff like that than having like a 20 minute <laughs> speed build but yeah we're actually heading to the end of the video now we're gonna be adding some lights here in the front I completely forgot to add lights outside in the backyard but you can easily add them but yeah if you like this video please comment also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on social media links are all in the description down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots Goodbye.